previously in Skyrim. I admit it, okay? I admit it. I got too greedy. I shouldn't have tried <clears throat> to charge the dragon so early in the fight. You guys have no idea what I'm talking about because for you, time reset, meaning it never happened. But I remember everything, and it was not pleasant. And put an end to her quickly. Oh. And I still got the shot. Could you stop pestering the locals for five seconds, please, and talk to me instead? No. No, they cannot. I'm the leader of this party, but clearly my worth is less than that of a toadstool. And now... And now we have to go to some weird place called Morvenscar, which is again over by Windhelm. This quest has been just absolutely bonkers. And it's been taking me all over the map. But hopefully this is our final pl destination. But I don't know what we're going to find when we get there. So be ready for anything, please. But let's get this over with and see if we can finally find Sam. And figure out just exactly how drunk I got, because my god, this has been an adventure. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. <sighs> Alright, Bjorlum, I need to go Where back to, to go? Windhelm. I know, I know, I should try someplace new, but I just don't have that luxury right now. Climbing back and we'll be off. And would it be too much to ask if we maybe just kinda have some peace and quiet? My carriage is the safest way to travel. It is, and I really appreciate it. But Okay, you're not as annoying as the other guy. But I'd really like to just have some peace and quiet, please. Couldn't ask for better weather. Yes? Ah. Thank you, Bjorlum. Thank you for the ride. And the and and the, the the silence. You see that you make a request of a guy and it's. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to do. What? Your hands only. Oh come on. Let's see here. A note from someone named Calselmo in Markarth. And you couldn't have like that's it. Waited. Got to go. Till we got inside. <sighs> it's cold out here, man. And I'm tired. It's no and I'm hungry. Oh yeah, I should probably look into that too while I'm here. So many things to do, never enough time to get them all done. Still here. Hopefully that one's not going to have any unforeseen consequences. First things first, though. I need a bed and something to eat. Mind you don't get fresh with Susanna. She plays the flirt, but it's just to get good tips. I really don't care about your barmaid. I, I need a bed. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. And it's not for the barmaid, okay? Don't suggest I'll show it. I'll you to your room. Right this way. Just for that, I'm taking the free mead. Crimson Dirks? Volume 4? Do I have Volume 4? I don't know. Can I... Let me know if there's anything else you need. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Just started another quest. I barely get rid of one, and I'm gaining, like, five more. Gotta do something about that. Okay, I'm gonna close the door. Because I very much want to sleep in private. Definitely don't need that. Anything in here? There's the backpack. Am I wearing a backpack? I should be wearing a backpack already. I am. 
It wouldn't be a bad idea, though, to give backpacks to Katya and Lydia. Anyways. I like this 10-hour mark. Let's get some sleep. And we'll worry about everything else in the morning. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. Okay. Um... I really don't want salmon steak. Why not? And one more. There we go. Okay. Much better. Things I can sell later are good. Carrots, apples to do some cooking. This one's a favorite of mine. Legend we all know and love. Well, I appreciate you waiting until our morning hero, to do that. Hero, Lydia, do you have a good night? You're not eating it, are you? Because I kind of need the extra food. Comes with a voice wielding power of the ancient North Legend of Red Eagle. Is that one I've read before? I don't know. It's not something marked believe, as stolen, so... I've probably read it before. Who am I kidding? Beware, oh, nice. There's a lot of stuff in here that I can just take without consequence. Oops. Let's try that again. Oh, it reset. Dang it. There it is. There we go. Can I just... Yay! Gold. Oh, salt pile, yes! I need so much salt pile. Wish I could take a frost salts, but, uh... Let's not test my luck too much. Okay. By the order of the Jarl, I command you to halt. What? Who? Good to see you again, friend. I made my fortune as a sea captain, but now. Whoa! I'm whoa! 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 By the order of the Jarl, stop right there. <coughs> but I didn't do it. Five gold! You're 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 throwing this much five oh my god. Smart man. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. What exactly did I steal? Oh man. For that matter, where's the guard barracks? They keep taking all my stuff and I want it back. Uh, Temple of Talos. Hey, courier. Where is the guard barracks? You know what? Let's poke around. This is... Uh... I think I want to go this way first. Oh. That's just a big door. Big door that maybe goes outside? This city is always... Such a maze. Where are the guard barracks? No, no, that's someone's house. Then it's true what everyone is saying. That Aventus Artino is doing the Black Sacrament, trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood. Oh, Grimvar, always with the nonsense. No, no, of course not. Those are just tales. Fine. Then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. No, child. Wait! That boy, that house, they are cursed. Ha! Then I'm right. I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. All right. I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. But Aventus Oratino walks a dark path. His actions can lead only to ruin. 
Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. I mean, that's not entirely true, but... All the Argonians are I try to keep Grimvar safe, thing, too, but these are dangerous times. You said something about a cursed child? Mm, yes, <laughs> it is quite sad. A young boy, Aventus Aretino, lost his mother recently and was sent to an orphanage. But he has returned home, and people have heard strange chanting. They say it's the Black Sacrament, the ritual to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Why a little boy would want to contact a group of murderers is beyond me. But he is inviting evil into this city. They it, travel. If you say so. But you mentioned he's just right here? Aratino residence. I mean, it's not the guard barracks I was looking for, but I was curious to talk to this kid. So while we're here, let's pay him a visit. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Oh God. Please, how long must I do this? I keep praying, night mother, oh, why won't you? I'm right behind you. Me? Uh. Sweet mother. Probably shouldn't be Sweet raiding mother, his house while he's trying to summon a death god. Oh, what's with the note? Letter from the steward. Master of Aretino, your all Stormcro Stormcloak wishes to express his deepest sympathies at the death of your mother, Nalia. Unfortunately, because you are fatherless and have no other known relations, the Jarl cannot allow you to remain in your home unsupervised. Therefore, in no more than a week's time, you are to report to Honor Hall Orphanage in Riften, <clears throat> where you will reside until your 16th birthday. The Aretino family home in the city of Windhelm will, of course, remain your property. The building will be securely locked and ready for your return six years hence. Note that I am unsure of the education provided to you by your recently deceased mother, or if you possess the ability to <laughs> the ability to read the letter I am currently composing. Therefore, a member of the city guard will call upon you in one week at your home and provide escort to the orphanage. Hopefully, his arrival will not come as a complete shock. How about you send a guard to come and read the letter to him if you're not sure he's able to read it? My God, is that really so hard? With greatest respect, your leaf steward of our most noble Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak. Like, seriously, you point out right in the letter, I don't know if you can read this, but hey, hopefully it's not a surprise. Why don't you order the guard to read it to him? Grow, you old crone. That, Look at what you deserve. It really doesn't seem like too hard of a deal. And I'm suddenly overweight again. Oh boy. I think I've got too much food. Alright. I guess I'll eat something. Two pounds over. How? What did I pick? It was... Wow. Didn't realize... No, we're not drinking. Not right now. Maybe a little bit before bed, but definitely not right now. Okay. That should help a bit. And my god. Didn't realize my food would weigh so much. It's most of my carry weight. I'm almost certain of it. It's just the amount of... F the sheer amount of food that I have. That I'm holding on to. It's absurd. Not the amount I have, the amount I need to have, and how much it's weighing me down. My god. Uh, okay. Damn, I don't have anything else I could really eat that's gonna bring it down enough. And I don't want to waste the things that do give me, like, really high hunger restore. Gonna have to drink some alcohol, I think. can't drink that? Oh my god. 
Okay, fine. I'll drink those ones. You'll get what you deserve. The Dark Brotherhood will hopefully, see that. Hopefully, I won't get too sweet drunk. Mother, sweet mother, Ke keep an eye on me, please. This sins of the unworthy did not go well blood and fear. previously. Sweet mother, um, sweet mother, send your child unto me. Dude, I've been standing in your house for like five minutes. Are you just not gonna acknowledge my presence at all? So. Hi. Finally! My prayers have been answered! No, 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 no. I mean. Are you okay? It worked! I knew you'd come! I just knew it! I did the Black Sacrament over and over with the body and the things, and then you came! An did from did the you dark kill someone? I I'm not I'm not an assassin, bud. I'm just a a concerned passerby. I just wanted to make sure you were okay. L Lydia, Lydia, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm not an assassin, bud. Of course you are. I no, prayed, no, I'm not. And you came, and now you'll accept my contract. Uh, what contract? My mother, she... she died. I... I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften. Honor Hall! The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the Kind. But she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us! So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here and you could kill Grella the Kind! You... you want me... To be honest, I'm kind of lonely here. As much as I hated getting sent to Honor Hall, I really miss my friends there. You just want me to, to murder... Well. Kiss sweet mother. So you wish to summon the Dark Brotherhood. You wish to see someone dead. Pray, child, pray, and let Night Mother hear your plea. You must perform the most profane of rituals, the Black Sacrament. Create an effigy of the intended victim assembled from actual body parts, including a heart, skull, bones, and flesh. Encircle the effigy with candles. The ritual itself must then commence. Proceed to stab the effigy repeatedly with a dagger rubbed with the petals of a nightshade plant while whispering this plea. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me for the sins of the of the unworthy must be baptized in the head mistress of did not hit the right button um i want to finish reading that where where did it go where did it go ah sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear then wait child for the dread father sithis rewards the patient you will be visited by a representative of the Dark Brotherhood, so begins a contract bound in blood. Okay, so now I'm understanding exactly why it is he oh, thinks orphanage. I'm a Brotherhood assassin. Because he did all the stuff, and then I just spontaneously appeared Please this. Please don't kill Constance Michelle. She really is kind. Oh god, I'm over encumbered again. I don't suppose you have a cook pot, kid. Somewhere I can make some soups or grilled meat. Anything? Knapsack. Gold. I probably should not be doing this, but... There it is. It's done. And there's no consequence for it. Oh, frost salts. These ones aren't marked as stolen. Okay. So we have a big problem here. The kid's really depressed, and now he thinks I'm a hired assassin. I know I was joking about this a while ago, but I wasn't actually planning on joining the Dark Brotherhood. Um, 283. I need to get rid of four points. Oh, man. I suppose I could risk a disease. I have a potion of cure disease. Contracted food poisoning. Oh, lovely. Well, already in for a penny. Let's let's go in for a pound. Uh, what else can I eat? 
Oh, yeah, sure. Why not? Let's just eat some raw venison, why don't we? And then I'll just cure poison. No, don't I have a potion of cure disease? Please? There. Did that help? It's been a while since I've had to check these. Okay, good. That cured the food poisoning. And I'm no longer overburdened. All I had to do was eat some raw meat, make myself horribly sick, and then fix it with a potion. Yep. I've got your back. That's my life for you. So the kid had a really rough time at an orphanage. Where did it say? Over in Riften? That's what the letter said. Man, what a ways to have to go. But that's not what we're doing right now. Uh-uh, no. We have some unfinished business to deal with over here first. And I'm not going to do anything else until we find Sam and resolve this issue. And hopefully he can tell me just exactly how drunk I got. Hey, that's interesting. I kind of want to go visit that. That's, uh, there's a shrine of Talos up there. People leave stuff at those shrines. They do. People leave, like, valuables at those shrines. I once shrines. mixed Argonian sap and skooma. It made me fight like an army. That was probably a bad idea. I hear okay, what do we got? Oh, it's just some wolves. Okay, we're fine. Ah, ah, my ah. Wolves are not a problem. What is a problem? It's picking up their pelts and being over-encumbered. Maybe I should just give some more stuff to... Katya, I need to test just exactly how much stuff you can carry. Okay, the place we're going is right up there. I want to see what's at the shrine first. It's right here. And, oh. Okay. And now I'm overweight. Still fresh, boss. What? Um. I need to give you a Got few more things. Good, boss? You know what? Just what can I give you? Oh, you know what? Hold on to the camping supplies. Build no, no, I don't want to build it. Store. Let's see how much weight I can actually offload. Let's store all of those. We've got this wolf pelt here. You can have the rest of my torches, ingots, pelts. Just, I need carry weight. I need a lot of carry weight. Here, you can have those too. Ah, and my books. You can hold on to my books. Why not? I pick up a lot of books. And letters. Oh, I actually need to read that one. Dwarven arrow. He wants to see my dwarven arrows. Why? That doesn't make any sense. Can you have that? Yes. Rins Journal, Crimson Dirks, Red Eagle. I can give you quite a lot. Okay. Good. That should do for the moment. Now let's talk to this guy. Good animal, boss. I am waiting for a good death. Why? Why would you want to die? My time has come. I am old. Too old to become chief. It would be wrong for me to take wives at this age. So I will die. Malakath has given me a vision of a glorious death. I am to wait here until it finds me. I As see. You can see it has not yet arrived. Ah, uh, What do you mean by a good death? Yes. Were I to simply lay down and die, it would not please Malakath. 
So, uh, you know, perhaps I can facilitate this. Although it's not going to be a one-on-one -on -one fight, so I hope that's not what you mean by a good death. Perhaps. Are you sure about this? Yeah, sure. Let's end your suffering. Hmm. We shall see. And loot your body. You're okay. Yep, have at him, ladies. Told you this wouldn't be a one-on-one -on -one fight. Blood of Talos flows through my veins. <sighs> May you find solace in wherever you call heaven, my friend. Steel War Axe. I could give that to Katya. It's a stronger weapon. Trade. You are there, maybe. Like yours? I wish I had better armor for you. I really do. And we will figure it out. But right now, let's start by giving you a better weapon. Yeah, see? Good. Excellent. Oh, and I am, like, low on health now. So how about a potion of cure health or whatever? Minor healing? Yeah, I've got a bunch of those. That'll work. Now then, how much further to this shrine? I thought I just heard another dragon. Now. Oh. Okay. Potion, money, yeah, the Talos mistake. Lenora Ventius Imperial liaison to the Aldmeri Dominion. Oh god, no, I really don't care what they have to say. This whole Skyrim Civil War thing, really, it's... it's. They want to pose it as... No. Well. Make an offering. Shrine of Talos. I think Ow. that affects my dragon shots. Don't I don't do a lot of dragon boss. shouting, though. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Anyways... <clears throat> yeah, this whole war thing, like, they're, they're, they're posing it as being Stormcloaks versus Imperials, which it kind of is. But the truth of the matter is, is that the, the Imperials aren't really the bad guys here either. Both sides are technically on the same side. They just have different ideas of how to fight. And the real enemy is is the Thalmor, the Aldmeri Dominion. All right, now how do we get up to this place? I'm not seeing... any method of... travel. Oh, what now? Ah! Spiders! No! Oh, I hate spiders. I will bleed you! Gross. It's not the only one, Katya. I think there's... Oh. Well, bad doggy. Better take what we can, boss. Oh, I intend to. From the spider, too, but gross. And there's still something else down there. Hopefully it's just another wolf. Yeah, it's just another wolf. Come here, buddy. You got? Rah, take that. <laughs> Good job, Katya. Okay. I just got a glimpse of where we are going. Yeah, okay. Here's hoping they're... Oh, I don't... No, 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 no. Okay, they are not friendly. They are not friendly. Well... <sighs> My day just got a thousand times more interesting. First, a child wants me to assassinate some grand... some lady in Riften, and now I have to fight my way into where I was supposed to have a wedding ceremony. <laughs>